Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I already discussed about Laravel file structure. Now I want to work on it. So step by step, each and everything will be very much clear to you. So into this session, first of all, I want to do, I want to create one of the code application with using the Laravel. That means how can create data, how can read data from to the database, how can update data, and how can delete data from to the database. That means how can create the code application with using the Laravel step by step. I will show you that things with the live example. For doing this here, I already installed our Laravel and that is the Laravel by default one of the template that is a blade template. So right now I want to do, I want to make the things little bit interactive. For code functionalities, I don't want to use any template for this one. I want to create uh, that template with using the material design bootstrap. So with the material design, you can actually create one of the page. So I will show you step by step, each and everything will be very much clear to you. Like if you go to the Google and here, if you search with the map material bootstrap CDN, then you will get a lot of the resources. So with this CDN, you can actually create one of the page layout very easily. So I will show you how much easily you can do that work. Then it will be very much clear to you. Like there is also one of the site as a mdbootstrap.com. And into this side, you will get all that material design booster file on particular that positions. Like if you go to here and now that is also one of the option as a download, like click on the download. And here there is an option for the direct download. And here, if you click on the direct download, then you will get one of the zip file. So I already downloaded it. Like if in your exercise file, I will sh share that file with you. That is a MDB file. And here you can see that is actually the MDB file at 488 zip. So that is the zip file. When you click on here, there is a direct download. Then you will get this type of one of the folders that is our ex in our exercise file. I already share it. So now, first of all, you have to do that is a zip file. You have to extract it. Like here, I extract it. And into these positions here, you can see that is all that CSS. You get that things from here. There is a bootstrap mean. There is a bootstrap. There is a MDB CSS. All the required things like there is a font, the images, and also all the JSS file that means the bootstrap in JSS. Okay, so with using this material bootstrap, then how much easily you can create one of the you can design one of the page? I will show you, then it's really very much interactive. And also, they have all the things like here you can see that is if you want to add some of the navigation, you get that code from here. If you want to add some of the tables. If you want to add the forms, I will show you, then uh, it should be very much clear to you. So first of all, here you have to stack it. And here that is our index.html. So now I want to open it like here. I just open it with the sublink text editor. So here that is all that file. So that is all that CSS file is linked on here. That is also that is a JS file. So now I want to update our default template. So when you install that Laravel, that is our default template. And into the default template, what exactly the things happening? Like here, when you actually access that route, that means the home route. So if you go our that positions, like that is our route. And into the route, there is a web.php. And into the web.php, that is actually the URL, one of the parameters. So here, it means actually the home. Okay. And when you access that URL, that means the home URL, its function returned you to the view and the welcome page. That means if you go to the resources and here you can see there is one of the folder as a views and into the views that is a welcome and blade.php is the Laravel default template engine name. Okay, so now you can see that space name is the welcome. So it's still redacted to you that page. That means this will welcome page. So now for the code application, I want to create some of the file and folder and then I will segment it. Okay, I will show you. All right now that is a view okay like in our view i just create one of the folder and i just name it as a layout okay i just name it as a layout and into the layouts here i want to create one of the file like here i just click as a save as and i want to create one of the file as a main dot blade dot php so i just name it and i also want to create another one like here i want to create another file name I just make the things as a save as okay. I just click on the save as and I just name it as a footer dot blade dot php. Okay, and also I want to create another page like here. I want to create another page and click on the save as and I just name it as a neighbor dot blade dot php. 
okay so here i created three of this file one is the main one is the neighbor and another is the footer okay so that is actually the three part and in the main blade that means here so in particular that position i want to do in our bootstrap that means in our bootstrap here i open one of the file that is the index.html so now i just copy whole things from here okay i just copy whole things from here and in our main blade here i paste it and now here that is all that link there is a js link and also they have some of the css link so we have to update it so right now there is index html we don't need this i just remove that things from here so first of all here i want to update that path so for doing this in laravel if you want to access it you have to define that with the double second bracket and here we have to define as an asset okay asset and into the asset means actually the root directory okay like if you go our drive like here there is a our l block so asset means it should be started from to this position that means this directory in your project directory i just assign that in laravel as an asset and after that asset here in our that folder that is all that folder the css font and then the images js and this one so all that folder i just copy from here and in our project in our public in our public here i just want to create one of the folder as a, a test okay i just define as a test and here i just paste all the folder particular that position and now i want to do i want to link that page so that is in our project that which i assign that things with the asset and after that asset then the public and then the test so here you have to assign it so i just define that asset and after that asset here you have to define your public that means the public folder so I just define as a public folder and after that public folder I created one of the folder as a test so I just define as a test and after the test here you can see that is actually CSS folder and the bootstrap CSS right like if you go to that space like there is a public and after that public there is a test folder and into the test folder that is a CSS and after the CSS here you can see there is a bootstrap.css so that will be our file link so for now I just copy it okay i just start it and i just paste on particular that position i hope you can well understand about it asset means that our project root directory and after the project root directory i just define our things like that is our asset that means our project root directory and after that there is a public and after public there is a test and then the css and all that css file link and also we have to do the same things for with our js like that is our all the JSS file so now first of all i have to update it okay so better i just copy it and i also have to update this one also update this one that is a css i just start it and there is a css style okay so first of all you have to add all the file link so i just start it and i just paste it on here and also um, they have some of the jss so for the js we have to also do the same things better i just copy it and here i just paste it so after that test then the js folder like if you go to this place like here you can see that after the test then the js folder and all the jss file so for right now i want to add that file like there is a jss i just start it and after the test so here i just paste it so i just copy it and here i just paste okay so for now i just updated that js all that file i cut it and here i just update it also there is another js so i just cut it and here i just paste it and there is also another js as a mdb means so i just cut it and here after the js i just add it so here i updated our path that means all the js file path i updated and here that is our all that css i just updated on particular that position so i hope you can well understand about it and now that is the part so that is the our project part so right now i remove all the things from here okay and in particular that position i just want to make that page segment like here i want to include our footer i want to include our neighbor on particular that position so how can segment that page i will continue this process and in our next video i will show you that things with the live example
So if you know that basic structure, then Laravel will be very much fun for you. So stay tuned with me. I will see you in the next video.